Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all about the brand new Spring Mega Bundle that launches today, Wednesday, March 16th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are catching this after March 22nd, when this Spring Mega Bundle closes, I wanna encourage you that in a few weeks, I'm actually going to be a part of another Spring Mega Bundle with a whole new contribution that I'll be sharing with you coming soon. When I make a unit for a mega bundle, it is exclusive to the mega bundle. I've never made it available before, but then after the mega bundle closes, it becomes available over on my Etsy shop. So again, if you're seeing this afterwards, you can still grab this little unit over on my Etsy shop. So I'll be sure to link that down below as well. So if you're catching it in real time, I'm so excited not only to share the Spring Mega Bundle with you because I absolutely love Mega Bundles, even before I became an affiliate with them, even before I started contributing to them, I've always loved Mega Bundles ever since I started homeschooling. They are an amazing value and resource to be able to teach your kids so many different topics in beautiful and creative ways and just kind of like get outside the sometimes dry curriculum or kind of everyday monotony. So. I really love them. So there is going to be something for kids ages three all the way through 14 in this mega bundle. It is thousands of pages of resources. It is PDF download if you're unfamiliar with mega bundles and you get hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I think this one is valued at $900 of resources for $25 and it only sells for a week. And after that, you'd have to go and buy all of the different things that are in there separately if you were interested in them afterwards. So I'm going to share with you what I contributed to this bundle. I'm really excited about it and hopefully you guys will be too. And this will be really great if you're catching this after you grab the mega bundle because it might give you some insight into kind of my thoughts behind creating it and ideas for its use and things like that. So my unit that I created is for ages three through 14. I have children ages two through 14. And so, so I keep them in mind when I'm making resources like this, because it's not always possible, but anytime it is possible, I really love to include as many of my kids together as I can. Um, we love unit studies. We love family style learning. And so that's what I try to create in hopes that you're able to do that in your home as well, even if it isn't how you homeschool every day, but maybe you can do it for small little units like this. So my unit that I created is called I Am A Bucket Filler, and it is all based off of the book, How Full Is Your Bucket? And if you are unfamiliar with this book, it's a really great book about like how we treat others affects not only them, but us. And there is the regular How Full Is Your Bucket for Kids, and then there is the How Full Is Your Bucket Young Readers Edition. So you do not have to have the physical copy of these books in order to do the unit. You could paraphrase and explain to your children. They are available on Amazon, like they're very affordable. You could take them out from your public library. And then where I got mine actually, was in the sensory mini crates from Knowledge Crates. If you've been around, you know how much I love Knowledge Crates. And I absolutely love the idea of mixing sensory in with units like this. So we will be doing this when I do this unit with my children, which will be very soon. And so everything that I share with you guys, I do with my own kids. And so there's a lot of like heart put into anything that I create. And so, um, I have both of them because I have such a wide range of children. Even if you do, this still works. I mean, there's stuff to be taken from this message as an adult, but I like to go a little bit deeper with my older kids. And so we have the Young Readers Edition as well. There's also an adult version I haven't read, but I know that it's out there. And so if you're interested in getting started with sensory play or kind of like sensory play made easy, I will link knowledge crates down below and I always have a 15% off code for you guys for subscription boxes. You can also use the code rooted bonus on any of the mini crates because they are not a subscription and that will get you a free bundle of books. So you can use either of those codes separately, just not together. So based off these books, you can also find it on YouTube. So you could even just watch it being read on YouTube and um, do it that way. So I wanna show you what I created to go along with it. I tried to do a combination of social emotional learning, literacy, 
math. And there's a little bit of grammar in there. There's also a scripture add-on, which I'll share with you as well, that if you are not interested in, you don't have to use that. But if you do want to include scripture in with this study, it is already there for you. So I'll share that at the end. So starting from the flashcards. So I have a bunch of different flashcards in here that I made. These go up to 10 and then jump to 15 and 20. So they can do skip counting from 5 to 20, 5, 10, 15, 20. And these are made to match up with the little bucket cards. So they can match up the number one or the number two or the number 10, 15, all of those to the cards that have the buckets on them. I also included addition and subtraction, greater than, less than symbols, and equal signs so they can do simple addition and subtraction with that as well. So there's a couple different ways to use those cards. Next thing for flashcards, they have matching up empty with the empty bucket, full with the full card, and then bucket with bucket. Um, so that's it for like the matching up the pictures to sight words. There are a bunch of sight words in here with our, which I'll share with you in a second. I pulled from sentences and sight words that are in the book. So it kind of ties in literacy with that. These are made to be used as sight words, but then also to build sentences. So you can use them for sentence building and you're prompted to do that on some of the sheets, which I'll show you in a second. So it also includes a question mark and a couple of periods so that they can say like, you know, make I am a bucket filler. They can make the question, how full is your bucket? And all of those things, I am a helper, those kinds of things. And so there are a bunch of these cards as well. Starting from the youngest pretty much to the oldest, there are these um, large letters for finger tracing, actual tracing, um, just letter recognition for the younger kids, and then uppercase and lowercase, and then a picture and a word that goes along with that letter. So there's bucket, drip, empty, full, and then going a step up from there, they're tracing them a bit smaller, so maybe a little bit older of a child, um, and then they're tracing the actual word as well. So this is the B page, and it has Bs and sight words. Then the same for drip. So there's the step up for drip and drop, this one includes. The E and the empty. Full and fill. And then another step up is building the sentences. So they read the following sight word sentences, they build the sentences with the sight word cards, they trace the sentence, and then they write it themselves. So maybe they can only do part of that, maybe they can do all of it, but that's kind of the next step up. So you have, I like to help, I am a helper. And then these are a little bit harder. Um, how full is your bucket? And I am a bucket filler with the same set of instructions. Then just another sight word activity. These are written a little bit smaller, full, fill, bucket, and empty. They trace them, they write them, and then this is a word scramble where they match it up and then they write it on the line. Then this is more of a reflection, so kind of a reflection on the book, sort of like literary analysis, um, but then also applying it to themselves, more social emotional learning. So it says, let's think about what this idea of bucket filling means in our families, our communities, and our world. Do you think it's easier for some people to be bucket fillers? Why or why not? Who would you rather be around? People who fill other people's buckets or empty them and why? So questions to really get them to reflect about kind of how they affect others and how others affect them. Think about your favorite person to be around. They tend to empty other people's buckets or fill them. So it really helps with self-awareness as well. Um, do you think people like to be around people who tend to empty other people's buckets instead of filling them? Why? You could use this with multiple different ages. You could even just have your child, if they're a pre-writer, narrate these answers to you. You could either write them down or just talk to them about it as a discussion. Then there's a little bit more writing here. Write about a time when someone filled your bucket and then it gives them question prompts. What did they do? How did it make you feel? Did your full bucket result in you filling someone else's bucket, etc.? So kind of more reflection. Then what kinds of things fill your bucket? 
discuss and write them inside the bucket. So obviously this could be for any age. You could have a younger child draw. You could have an older kid write a paragraph in here. You can do anything in the middle. So this can be for various ages. How full is your bucket? What about you? How full is your bucket? Discuss and fill in each section of the bucket with something nice that someone has done for you to fill up your bucket. So they can kind of see how specific actions help to fill their bucket, but then also check in with themselves to see like, how am I feeling right now? And I don't think I printed it out, but there's one that also they would just color up to how full they feel their bucket currently is. Then there's even some grammar. So some fix the sentences and I have two different levels of this. So they figure out what's wrong with the sentences, they fix it and then they rewrite it correctly. This one is a little bit more complex sentences. Okay, and here's where we get to the biblical integration. So that's it if you're not looking into looking for the biblical integration. If you are looking for the biblical integration, I'll try to start at the beginning. I have kind of different levels for this as well. So I have the flashcards that I didn't show you is the scripture, love is patient and kind. So the sight words are in here, but then they're also able to build that scripture sentence along with the scripture reference, 1 Corinthians 13, 4. So that's pretty cool. They can build that. And then this says, there is so much to be learned in this book about how to treat others. What does the Bible say? And then it gives some scriptures about that. Then at the bottom, it says, after reading the above scriptures, choose one and write about how it connects with the book. Then here is, and obviously you can use this one without the biblical integration with the other pages that are like this, but I did the L for love because love is patient. Then I did the step up for that once again, where they're tracing the words a little bit smaller and also tracing the word love. Then there is some scripture copy work. So it gives the full scripture and then it gives just part of it. Love is patient and kind. So there's a step up from just the tracing the letters and the word love. Then from there, there's tracing the entire scripture the entire verse. And then here is copy work that is not tracing. So they will copy over the scripture and then there's a prompt for them to pray scripture. Lord, help me to be loving and patient. Help me to be kind. Help me to not be jealous or rude. In Jesus name, amen. So it kind of teaches them or highlights for them how you can actually take, take scripture and pray scripture over yourself, over others, those kinds of things. So teaching them how to pray. And then this one is even a step up for, from that. So I was thinking about my 14 year old, but I think even my 10 year old could do this. So they, again, they have the full scripture. And then it says, copy the above scripture on the lines below. Then in your Bible, look up verses five through seven and add them after verse four. So they would copy this down, then look into their Bible for the next couple of verses and add them. And then they have the praying scripture again and then additionally, is there something you would add to this prayer? If so, write it below. So it gets them to kind of dig a little bit deeper spiritually at that age. Then there's one more scripture copy work for the older kids or any, any child that you think is ready for this. And this talks about the fruit of the spirit because I wanted to use this as a way to talk to my kids about like, you can't truly be a bucket filler if you're not filled with the Holy Spirit. You can't you can't yield the fruit of the spirit, which is love and kindness and all of those things, unless you're truly filled up by the only one who can truly fill us. So for me, I wanted to make sure to bring it back, always pointing back to God and everything that we do. Um, and so they'll copy that, but then they'll reflect, how can we get these fruits of the spirit? And if they can't really answer that, then that's where we really have that discussion um, that I was just mentioning. And so that is it for the unit. There's more that you can do with it. I wanted to just kind of show you everything that's in my contribution to the bundle, as well as if you're catching this after the week that the spring mega bundle is available, you can catch this over on my Etsy shop. Let me know if you have any questions about this or the mega bundle down below in the description box. I wanted to show you so many things from the mega bundle that I'm going to be using with my kids. There are spring busy books, just so, so, so many things. Nature study, 
so many things, geography, there's so much in there for so many different age groups. And so I urge you to go check that out. Again, that is linked down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I would love if you'd subscribe. If you're new here, please introduce yourself down in the comments below. I truly love to get to know you guys. If you're not already following me over on Instagram, you can follow me there at rooted underscore home life. I'll be sharing throughout the week things that we're using from the mega bundle. So you'll be able to get more peeks into the resources that are in there and kind of how we'll be using them throughout the week. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you grab the mega bundle and you love it. And I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos. Until next time, stay rooted.